How's it going everyone? Maryland here! And uh, yeah, last time we just got some gems stolen by a Scraggy. So if you're joining us now from, uh, let's see, from the demo version, well, we're all caught up. See, I made it so uh, if you decided just to skip the first three episodes, if you've already seen the demo version videos I did, um, yeah, this is the same spot, except now I'm playing as an Axew and my partner's a Tepig. Because, I don't know, I just wanted to try out a bunch of different stuff. It seems like every single time I'm playing, I'm playing through with either Oshawott or Snivy. And I just wanted to mix things up. So, that's why. Now, let's go on over to the Hazy... What is it? The Hazy Pass? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's go. I knew it! We can get to Hazy Pass from here! Alright! Now all we have to do is make it through the path ahead and catch up to Scraggy. Oh, well, that sounds easy. Let's do that. Okay, so Hazy Pass is, uh, it's a little on the big side. Definitely a bit to do here. Plus, it introduces some new gameplay elements. First of all, yeah, you can see all those little shiny thingies, those buttons. We're going to have to press those buttons if we want to proceed. Now, this is a free roaming area, but look at that! There's a wild Pokemon just kind of chilling. It's not in the grid format. What happens then? Well, if you shove your partner into it, <laughs> or if you just go and approach the Pokemon, you'll enter like a little mini battle. And you can just end it by taking out the Pokemon. Cool. Yeah, it's an interesting approach. Here's another Pokemon. Let's do this. As you can see, it's rather straightforward. But it's an interesting way to, uh, to do it. Now, in order to proceed, you're going to need to press A on all three of these little sparkling buttons. That'll raise up those logs, and you can use them as stairs to get into the cave. And then the cave plays through just like, uh, well, any other kind of dungeon. All right, so all three of those are down. Well, the buttons, that is. And now all three of these are up. So, press A by them, and you can climb them. Woohoo! All right, now we're in the second floor of Hazy Pass. And, uh, yeah. Let's see what we got here. An all-power-up orb. That's actually a rather useful orb. If you can get that, it would be very beneficial. All right, let's go ahead and take this Audino out. These things have a lot of hit points, and they take a lot to take down, but they do give a pretty good amount of experience. So they're definitely worth it. Alright, Wooper. You're going down. Good job. Okay, um, again, I do recommend trying to explore as much of the dungeon as possible. Picking up these orbs will be very helpful. You can also use orbs in, um, boss fights now. So, they're a lot more helpful than they were. The Slumber Orb. This is a very useful uh, orb you can use. It puts a bunch of enemies in a room. It er, uh, puts them to sleep when you use it, which is, uh, let's face it, that's pretty nice. If you run into a room and there's a whole ton of Pokemon in there, that's a great thing to do just to kind of keep them all at bay. All right, the roll call. Did I get that? Uh, yes, I did. Let's say your teammates go running all around, right? You know, that happens all the time. Um, you know, when that happens... Oh, yay, Broham, level 9. You can use the roll, roll Call Orb, and that'll send every one of your uh, teammates to your room. Which is pretty nice. Okay, so, Odor Sleuth. That's not really all that helpful of a move, to be honest. That does affect the entire room, but... You probably don't need it. Okay. And now Broham gets a whole ton of stats. Now again, I'd keep that in mind if you're playing as Tepig, or if your partner's Tepig, too. Unfortunately, there's only 20 different combinations you can even have for hero and partner Pokemon, and that's really unfortunate. So, uh, yay! Tusks, level 9. No new move, unfortunately, but that's okay. All right, now I'm back to normal speed. 
I want to find where that all power up orb is. Because that's a very useful orb. If you see an enemy get that, you should definitely track that thing down. Because it'll really come in handy. And you're sleeping, so I don't think you'll have it. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna restore my stats on that wonder tile. And, uh, let's see. Where is that thing? Oh, it's such a useful item because it raises the, um... It raises the attack and special attack of your... You and your partner Pokemon by a pretty good amount. So it's very useful for boss fights. And I'll tell you right now, you're going to have your first boss fight coming up um, before too long. So you want to be prepared. Oh, where is it? Hey, you better have it. Come on. Fork it over, Wooper. Yeah, that's right. The all-power-up orb. Take a look at this thing. Sharply boosts the attack and special attack of your party. That's amazing. Definitely worth tracking down. Uh, and these things are such a pain to fight. I'm gonna use focus energy. Ow. They like to use growl too, which is just gross. Oh well, we've got everything we need. I'm done. Ah, it's such a long way back. Okay, let's use Focus Energy again. Jerk. Here, you deal with it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> There's some teamwork. Now I'll just let... I'll let Broham fight that thing. Come on, get to it. Come on. There we go. Find time to use Ember. Okay, let's head upstairs. Now we're on the third floor. And we're outside again. So, again, just press those buttons. <coughs> and, uh... Yeah, you'll raise those little logs over there. Not too challenging to do. Oh, here we go. There's another uh, gold bar. Sweet. That's pretty helpful. Hey, look, there's something else. And it's a Chesto Berry. Not quite a gold bar, but I'll take it. Ta-da! Alright, now I'm not going to fight either of these two things, because I don't really want to. Oh, darn it, you have to actually move up in order to say yes. Which I find a weird choice, but whatever. Okay, so, looks like we're in a big room now. Okay, um, let's go ahead and use Assurance. Now at this point, you're... Ooh, there's another all-power-up orb in play. That's pretty helpful. Uh-oh. Ah, come on. Now, it's always important to keep an eye on both your and your partner's hit points. You can do that on the bottom screen, where it does show them. Um, if they get too low, you should really use an orange berry. Hey, how convenient. I found an orange berry. Hey, you. Come on, we're going to do this. Ah. Yeah, another all power up orb. That's great. Jeez, come on. When will this end? All right, I'm starting to run really low on PP here, so before too long, I need to use a max elixir. But you might want to save it if you can. Because I think there is a... Uh, I think there's like a halfway point coming up very soon. And that'll actually heal you up to full. Which is very nice. I recommend trying to get to level 10 before completing this dungeon. But 
you know, if you're a noob like me, level 9 might suffice. If you get the all power up orb, you should be okay. I don't want to fight that thing. Let's just go upstairs. I'm all weakened. See? Here you go. Now we're getting close to the goal. It's not much farther, so... Uh, yeah, there's the deposit box. You can put some of your junk in there. Uh, let's see. You'll also be able to save your adventure. Oh, that's nice. Alright, well, maybe I should do that. Let's take a look at what items I have. Um, let's press Y to sort them. Good. Good amount of orange berries. You want as many of these as possible, and I really recommend holding on to them for the boss fight. And again, all power-up orbs are amazing. Try not to use them too early or just at random. Because you're not really going to need them against just random Pokemon on, like, a floor of a dungeon or something. The slumber orb's fine. Useful for boss fights, but not really the end of the world. If you use it just while you're exploring. Let's move on ahead. Fifth floor. Hey, look! We're right by a sleeping Audino. There we go. Oh, another Zinc Band. Sweet. Let's get that thing. Oh, why do you have to keep growling? Come on, it's so gross. Stop it already. Jeez, you're just the worst. Alright, well, we gotta find a wonder tile. That's what we need to do. Oh, Chesto Berry. Kind of convenient. Ah, oh, Whooper. Yeah, I guess if you're playing as Pikachu, these Whoopers can get rather annoying. This Mud Sport will lower the, uh... Oh, sweet, another Zinc Band. Now, you don't need that if you already have one, but I think you can sell them for some pretty decent cash. There we go. Okay, let's see. There we go. Hey, you better step on that thing too, piggy. Come on, broham. All right, what do we got? Sweet. Okay, so as you can see, just a little bit of fighting and then I'll get you up to level 10. It's not that hard to do, but I strongly recommend it. It'll give you good stats. Again, I'm only a level 9, but by taking out this, uh, this whooper will get me up there. So let's do that. Hmm, not quite. I have a little bit more to do. Probably the next Pokemon. Wherever that may be. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Hey, where are you going, Broham? Come on, get back here. I'm a level 10 now. And now I can learn a new move. Dragon Rage. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of... Oh... I guess let's get rid of Leer. Um... Actually, let's get rid of Focus Energy. I don't really need critical hits. It's fine. There we go, now I got Dragon Rage. Sweet. That's a pretty good move. If I recall correctly, it does a lot of damage. Um, it does a fixed amount of damage, so it's not going to be based off of your attack or anything. Let's try it out. Boom! 30 damage, just like that. So great. I mean, if you're playing as Axew, you really need to get this as, um, as a move before proceeding, because it does just a lot of damage. Can't go wrong with that. Alright. Oh! Yeah, definitely very good at this point in the game. Okay, um, oh yeah, I still do need to find those stairs. Huh, I thought I'd already found them. Oh well, no big deal. I wanted to get to level 10 first. Hey, there we go! Stairs! Sweet! So, after the fifth floor, 
Hey Tusks, this way seems the way seems a bit brighter up ahead. Let's push on, okay? Okay. Ah, that's Yeah, we got him. Scraggy! We finally found him! Tusks, let's catch up to him and see what he has to say. Oh, someone's coming. Uh oh. Hey, you better get over here. Come on, we better hide. What? You want us to hide? Yeah, get over here. Come on. What's the big idea, Tusks? Huh? And now you want me to whisper? Okay, fine, I'll whisper. Seriously, what's going on? What? That, that's... Girder! I mean, <laughs> Girder. Why is Girder here? Sorry for the wait. Take you long enough. I want to get down to business, yo. Don't be like that. I've got to be careful to make sure I'm not followed either. It takes a lot of work to keep up this kind of scam, you know. You haven't lost your touch, though, huh? Still quite the skillful little thief. So, where's the cash? Yeah, yeah, I've got what I promised you. Getting a little greedy, huh? Hmm, who are you calling greedy? Those blue gems will pay you back big time if you sell them in the West. Compared to that, the poker you pay me is... Like a drop in the bucket, eh? Heh, <laughs> well that's true enough. Of course I could just go into Stony Cave myself and get some, but... Well, it does get pretty dicey in there. Having you lend your particular expertise to that problem is... Just plain expedient. Ain't no other way about it. I'm gonna have those fools bring me some more gems. I'll be counting on the usual amount when they do. What? You're gonna have them get you even more? Those little losers? That's right. After all, they're still dumb enough to believe I'll build them a house. At this rate, I'll be able to send them after more gems for the rest of their lives. You serious? Dude, you're cold. Was there a dream to build their own home, ain't it? You're gonna keep believing in that dream and just keep bringing you gems forever? Never knowing it won't come true? Man, I think I could cry! Uh, you got any heart left? You want me to cry over something like that? Huh. You, the great Scraggy, who pulls off way meaner schemes in the West. Well, you ain't wrong there. <laughs> you sneaky little... What? You two? We followed Scraggy here. Girder, quite the convincing act you had falling for. Or quite the convincing act you had us falling for, huh? Hmph. <laughs> Anyone who expects honesty in this world is a fool. That's what you get for trusting me. Dream big and you lose big. It's your own fault for getting tricked. You, you were tailing me? You mean you actually saw through my mad skills? I'm impressed, losers. But, what you think you're gonna do now? You wanna fight with the two of us? I'm warning you now, I've been tussling on the wrong side of the route my whole life. The battles I've lived through, well, little squirts like you couldn't imagine. It'd be best for you to just toddle off to your mamas, you hear? No way, bring it! My, my, my! And even after I went to the trouble of warning you losers. You don't have a bit of sense between the two of you, do you? Fine then, why don't we just show you? We'll show you what a big mistake you're making. Let's roll! Yep, and here we go, the first boss fight of the game against Scraggy and Girder. Now, as you can see the grid here, it's kind of like diagonal and stuff, but you are, you actually start the fight right next to them. Um, because of that, it's recommended that you start by taking out Scraggy, and hopefully your partner will be bright enough to take out Girder. If you happen to pick up an all-power orb, it will make the fight substantially easier. In fact, let me show you this. See? Attack went up a lot, and special attack. Now at that point, I think I'm actually better off using a... Oh, and if you have a dark type attack, don't use it against Scraggy. It's double resistant. I'm gonna try Scratch. Alright, it does about the same. Now it's really important at this point that you watch the hit points on the bottom. Because if either you or your partner faint, it is game over. So, just be careful. Should be okay as long as you're above 20 hit points, but... Yeah, if you start to see that sign, it's probably a good good time to uh, use an orange berry. Now, I probably don't even have to. One hit will probably finish him off, but I'm just going to show you how to do that. Just go in there and use it from your bag. You don't have to have it held ahead of time. Don't worry. All right, there we go. Y Youch! 
<laughs> I love that sound. You! I'm not gonna lose here! I'm not gonna lose to you fools! <laughs> Girder! Come on! Boss, please just stop! What? what Boss, we're begging you. Please, stop doing these things. You two! Why are you? You didn't! You wouldn't! So, you two are the ones who sold me out! The backstabbers appear at last! It was your meddling! Grrrr! Grrrr! Yeah! But boss, but please, let this be the last time you do this kind of thing, okay? What? We don't want to do this anymore. We never work. All we do is bad stuff. We don't want to watch any more of this. You never used to be like this, boss. You were nice and you loved your work. You're, you're not, well, you're not the boss we knew. Not anymore. What? You little, you think you're gonna fire me, huh? We don't want to do bad things anymore, boss. Please, boss, we're begging. Can't we, can't we just do honest work together like we used to? Can't you just have fun working with us again? Work like we used to? You, you guys ought to know better than anyone. There's no way that can happen. Gra! Girder! Thump. Thump. Oh, you just knocked him out. W what are you doing? <coughs> it's time you guys learned already. You can't, you can't just go back to the way things used to be. I'm gonna go in here. Oh man, what a jerk. Ow. Are you guys okay? And time for some drama. It seems like there's more to the story than we've heard. Tell us what happened. Yes. You see, our boss, he used to be a great carpenter. Really. Everyone loved his work back then. We were in awe of his skill, and that's why we wanted to work with him. Me and his apprentices, apprentices were really, really fun back then. But then, the boss got injured one day. After he injured his back, he couldn't move the way he used to. His body just wouldn't listen, so he couldn't build the way he used to either. And because of that, he couldn't practice his building skills, so they went downhill. But even then, even without his old skills, the boss kept doing the best he could, you know? He still had his pride in the work, but... Then it happened. What happened? A certain Pokemon asked us to build him a house. Work had become pretty scarce by that time. We were so happy, all three of us. We poured our hearts into that house. We used up every last drop of energy we had to build it. And that Pokemon, he started by bashing the quality of our work. And then he destroyed the house, right before our eyes. What? At first we thought he'd torn it down because our work wasn't good enough. If that were really the reason, well, I guess we would have had to deal with it. But that wasn't the reason. From the very start, he was just toying with us. Toying with you? He had us build that house with every intention of tearing it down afterward. Planning from the start to complain about the work as an excuse not to pay us. That Pokemon called the boss's house a piece of garbage. Can you imagine? And smashed it over and over until there was nothing but garbage left. The boss had no confidence in himself after that day. He gave in to his despair and stopped working at all. And eventually he started cheating other Pokemon, like you. What a horrible story. You said that Pokemon was just toying with you, right? He was planning to tear down the house from the start. So that means it didn't have anything to do with how good or bad your work was. Girder shouldn't have given up faith in himself because of that. We tried saying that too. But the boss just wouldn't listen to a word we said. In the end, he's the one who felt the loss of his skills most. In that house, he tried so hard to do a perfect job. And then it all got torn down in front of his face. I don't think it's any surprise he gave up after seeing that. But still, that doesn't mean he should become a criminal. We don't want the boss to keep doing these bad things. We thought maybe we could change things this time. And that's why we tried telling you about Scraggy Tusks. But in the end, the boss isn't going to change, is he? We just want to work together with the boss again. We want to go back to being the same old boss who loved what it did. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking, Tusks? 
Yeah. Time to get out of here. It's settled then. Our house. It's definitely going to be built by Gerder. What? What? Even after he's been so terrible to you? Why would you? We decided. We don't want anyone else to build it. Gerder's our guy. I want to see the house you and you two and Gerda will build together. A house with all your heart and soul poured into it. Gerda headed farther in this way. Let's go ask him to help us. Even if he says no, we're going to keep on asking him until he agrees. Bro, I am you crazy? Snip, snip. Ah! Ah! Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Ah! <coughs> Bro hug. All right, let's all go together. Let's go to see Gerda together. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you'd like, you can go ahead and save your adventure now. Um, I'm going to leave it for right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Still getting over that cold, you know? All right. <coughs> Woo. All right, all better. Um, yeah, so... At this point, you actually take the two Timber Brothers with you. So that's pretty cool. They can help out a little bit. Uh, let's Dragon Rage that thing. Um, here, we can even take a look at their status. See? They're fighting types. Level 12 each. Um, they have low kick and pound. You know, nothing amazing, but tends to do a pretty good amount of damage. They're definitely helpful to have with you. All right, so try to pick up as much stuff as possible. You have a few more floors before you get to, uh, before you get to what's his face, Girder. So the more stuff you can get, the better. Because you are, unfortunately, going to have to fight him again. Now that you have four, uh, four Pokemon on your team, that can sometimes mean they will go all over the place. So stuff like a roll call orb can be very handy in this circumstance. Additionally, they're very good at handling these Audino. Although, looks like Dragon Rage does a pretty good job too. Whoops, I forgot an item. Oh, you little Siwaddle. Get over here. Oh man. All right, come on. Oh, you jerk. I'm gonna get you. Ugh. Now, if you need to move diagonally, you can hold in R, and then see that'll, that'll make it so you can only move diagonally. That can be helpful sometimes. Boom. Aw, oh, sweet, another all power up orb. Now, trying to get all four of these Pokemon onto a uh, Wonder Tile can be just really hard. So I don't even recommend it. That's just a lot of hassle. Okay, let's see. What do we have coming up over here? Ah, the stairs again. I'm just gonna head upstairs. You know what? It's not really a big deal. See, we're at a little halfway point again. That's pretty cool. Urk, sorry, but please ask the boss to help you. Let's all do our best. Yeah, let's. Um, again, you can use this if you want to deposit anything. Probably a good idea. Um, I got 24 items with me right now. I'll deposit the zinc band for later. I can always sell that. Um, there we go. Now we're all sorted here. These all power-up orbs will come in handy. All right, let's go ahead and move on along. Are you ready to go ahead? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, and uh, let's see. I think it's still the same Pokemon here, yeah. Nothing too exciting. Um, alright, let's move forward here. Okay. Ow, oh, you. Ooh, look at all that shiny. I gotta get the shiny. Urgh, come on. <coughs> Alright. Oh, no! Poor Broham. Sweet, I got another gold bar. 
Ah, stop growling already. It's so gross. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna leave that odd to know. Just for a moment. Oh, why are you going? Come on, I wanted the timber to take it out. No, but Broham just has to be the hero. Oh well, it worked out. Broham at least did the right thing. Uh, let's see. Well, we have the stairs here, but who needs stairs? I'll come back to those later. Let's see if I can find any useful items. Man, look at all these Pokemon in here. It's just so many. Get out of here. Come on. Shoot. Unfortunately, with all of these corridors, it can be really tricky trying to fight Pokemon sometimes. Or using your teammates in battle. Alright. Well, that was a lot of fun. It took me to nowhere. Oh, I hate tickets to Nowhereville. It's just the worst. Oh, here we go. Let's see how many Pokemon can get on here. It's like they intentionally try to invo avoid it. Look at that. It's like, who wants to step on that thing? I'm too cool to do that. Yeah, well, one of them didn't get it, but whatever. It doesn't deserve it. Oh, why'd you have to miss? Oh, well. It's all good. Anything down here? No! Well, maybe. Let's just take a look. I don't think the, uh, the glittering, I don't know, the shiny stuff, I don't think it appears, so... If you're looking for those gold bars, you might not be able to just rely on the, uh, the blue items that you see. Well, we're gonna get you! We're gonna get you so good! Ah! Oh. Alright, you know what? How about you two do it, okay? That's right, there, work together. Alright, I'm done on this floor. Yeah, not a lot you had to do. We're nearly to the peak now! Oh, ain't that the boss? Looks like it. Okay, you two should probably wait here. For now, Tusks and I will go ahead and try to talk some sense into Girder. Oh, it's already nighttime out? Man. We're in there a long time. That's cool. Hmph. So it's still no good, huh? Girder! What? You two again? We've been looking for you, Girder. So you're still angry, are you? Fine, let's do this. What? No, that's not... We just want to... Girder! <coughs> I can't build houses anymore. Even if I wanted to build something, I ain't got the strength. But, for some reason, I've still got plenty of strength left for fighting. Good for nothing power that can't create a thing. Tusks, watch out. I'll show you what real rage looks like. You better be ready. Uh-oh, he's gonna unleash his rage. All right, so once more, we have to fight against Girder. Um, your best bet is just to move up one really quick here. And he's gonna hit you, which is rather unfortunate. Now, if you have a second, um, all power up orb, it's a great time to use it. Otherwise, if you have something like a slumber orb, that'll buy you a few turns. But otherwise, you don't need either of those things. In fact, I'm not going to use them right now, just to kind of show you. Using stat lowering moves from the beginning can be a helpful thing to help rack up the damage later on. We'll start by using Leer once or twice. Again, keep an eye on your hit points. Because he'll hit for around 12 or so. And that adds up pretty quickly. Um, let's try Assurance. I know it's resistant, but remember, resistances in this game are actually calculated a little differently. So, it's not quite as bad. 
Okay, as long as you keep an eye on your hit points. See, like, now would be a good time to use it. <laughs> if you don't have an Orenberry, hang out behind your party members and let them take care of it. Yeah, that's right. Use them as meat shields. Okay, so yeah. It'll probably take you an Orenberry to get through the fight. I probably could have used the all-power orb from the get-go, but I just wanted to show you, you know, because I felt pretty lucky getting all those all-powers. <sighs> Are you, are you satisfied now? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. All right. It doesn't matter how much rage against it or how much you rage against it. No matter how much you hate it, some things can't be changed. This world we live in, it's all about who's doing the lying and who's being lied to. Honest folks just look like fools. In a world like this, you're the ones who get blamed for being tricked. So you can't get mad at me. It's just the way this rotten world works. You may be right about the world, but that's exactly why I can't accept this kind of thing. Arg, we didn't come here to argue about this kind of stuff. Gerder, we want, we want you to build us a house. <coughs> what? But I was such a jerk to you. You still want my help. You want me to work with you to build your home? Yeah, we'll get together the poke and the materials somehow. So please, won't you help us build ourselves a home? Y you, <laughs> I swear, you're some kind of prize fools, aren't you? Don't you even realize I've been lying to you this whole time? I've got no hope left. Not for this world, not for my craft. Look at this scar, why don't you? Thanks to this stupid injury, my body won't even do what I want it to do anymore. I can't build anything, build you a house, Ha! I can't make nothing but junk anymore. You get it now? You're asking an old washout who can't build anything decent to build your house. Boss, you're wrong. <coughs> you, you two. Broham and Tusks already knew about your injury. We told them about it. You did what? But even knowing that, Broham and Tusks, they still want you to build their house. What? Wh Girder, you just said you can't build anything but junk, right? But what's wrong with that? I like junk. You just need to work on getting better again. We want you to build our house, Girder. No one else. If you'll just put your heart into building it, then we don't need a fancy house. We don't want to live in some perfectly built masterpiece that has no heart. We want a house made by someone who pours their heart into what they do. And besides... These timber would follow you to the end of the world, you know? No matter how far you might stray from the path. No matter how many times you lash out at them, they still go on believing that you can all have fun working together again someday. You still got them, Gerner. You have to think about them. They've been trying so desperately to help you, but... Gerner, what do you think you've been doing, huh? Boss, let us go back to work. Let's all work together again. Please, boss. Let's go back to the old days when we used to have fun, boss. Y you too. Gerder, please. Build our house. Build us a house that no one but you could make. Ugh. Gua. <coughs> boss. Boss. Broham. Tusks. I'll do it. I'll build your house. Gerder. Really? No, I'm just playing with you. Yeah, I'll put everything I got into it. But, but not now. Right now, I, I just need to cry for a bit. <coughs> and so, Gerner promised to build the house in paradise. Once we return from Hazy Pass, Gerner and the Timber began building at once. And the two of us, and even Quagsire, Quagsire just showed up because I think he heard there was, I don't know, going to be snacks. We all did our best to help with the construction of the new home. And several days later, dun da 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 look at this thing. It's done. We have a house. Hmm, it's quite an interesting house, huh? Could use a new little mini fridge, but, you know. Urgh, sorry so bad. I'm afraid this is the best I can do right now. 
Eh, but it does have a certain warmth to it. I mean, it looks kind of like a coconut, but... Well, even if it doesn't look very pretty, I had a really good time doing this job. You said it. This has got to be the most fun I've ever had on a job. It's like, yeah, it's kind of shabby, but it's not really shabby. It's kind of strange, but I'm pretty happy with the work we did, in an odd sort of way. Though it really is, not much to look at, huh? It doesn't matter what it looks like. I love it. Girder, Timber, Timber, and Quagsire too. Thanks, everybody. Everyone put their hearts into it. That's all that really matters. At any rate, this is going to be our new home! Sweet! Well, looks like we got a house now. Um, yeah, so we're gonna continue this on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity Adventure! See you next time, home builders!